What's up guys and welcome to another video where today I'll show you my finished iPad dash. Alright guys, this is my finished iPad dash here. It's all installed already. We got the iPad in, we got the AC controls in, we got both our cubbies that were here, ACs, everything. Per turned out perfect, no cracks, nothing. All right, so let me show you how this works. Uh, right now we have the iPad docked in. The truck is on the um, on position, just so I can show you um, how it works. So basically, I do have my steering wheel controls working so I'm going to increase the volume right now right here so it's, it's going to work exactly like your radio this is your radio now so it's pretty cool you put the volume down and we do have track up and track down here change tracks and um let me put the volume down a little bit. So what I do like about this is that you do have, like, I have Apple Music, so you have a list of all your songs here. So you can, like I said, it's basically like a radio, so you, you can put any song you want. Here, I'll play this one for you guys. So, again, you control the volume up and down from here. So, um, I do have the, so I'm going to undock this right now to show you. So, I'm going to take the iPad out. Just slide it over and take it out. So, we have our radio back here. Um, our radio is pushed as far back, so this, so this is flush right here. Um, this sway piece isn't on correctly yet, so that's why it's a little jagged here. I still have to uh, glue it in place right now. It's just staying there to keep my uh, iPad from, from getting scratched. Uh, so I'm going to glue this um, later on. For now, I'm just running it like this. But, I mean, if I don't want to use the iPad or if for some reason I want to take it away, it still works as a normal radio, so I can always still listen to music connected to my phone. Uh, we still have radio. So it still works. And it still works with this. See? Volume up. Volume down. So everything still works. I have it connected to my phone. So if I ever do want to make a phone call, I can still do it from here. And I put the microphone up here where the stock one's at. So stock location so a lot of people just clip it onto their visors or put it on the pillars here I wanted a nice flush look so it's inside of here this is the 90 degree cable I had to use right here so this 90 degree um, USB thing is what's connected over here to the charging port so I did have to use this 90 degree because the normal uh, iPad charger goes up too much and it won't let my uh, iPad slide in so let me show you a few of the features that you can do. So I want to go ahead and dock my iPad in again. So put it in like this, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it into the charger. So that should automatically start playing music right there. If you can hear it, I'm going to put the volume back up. So it automatically just um, started playing the music from there. 
as soon as I turn off the key also, so I'm gonna put it on here so you can visually see it playing. So right now, it's playing. If I press here, it's gonna pause it. But I'm gonna turn my truck off. And then what's cool about this is after about 30 seconds, the screen will go blank, so it won't waste your battery. Just to show you how it turns back on by itself, or starts playing by itself, I'm gonna go ahead and put the key back in, turn it on, keep an eye on here. It should go to uh, start playing automatically without me touching it. See, it's already playing. I'm sorry if the volume is too low, but let me show you guys one more time because the volume was a little low. Take the key out, automatically stop. Again, in, in about 30 seconds, the screen will turn off. I wanna put the key back in. Turn it back on. It starts charging. And it starts playing right away. Oh, that's pretty nice. All right, so within this app, what else can you do? So, uh, Pioneer does have this arc radio thing going on here, where um, basically lets you control all the settings inside in the radio so uh, it just tells you little caution sign here don't do it while it's driving whatever um, click here and then it says audio so here's an equalizer so it's pretty cool because I want to I raise the volume up a little bit and it lets you pretty much fix all this however you want however you want you can turn your subwoofer off turn it on Adjust the subwoofer, subwoofer levels, add bass boost, loudness. It pretty much has your fader balance, your crossover settings here too. So it has a lot of um, it has a lot of settings here that you can adjust. High pass filter, subwoofer phase, cut off the slope, all this stuff that you can fix here. So all that can be done from the actual app itself. So for those of you like me that don't have GPS on their cars or trucks and you want GPS, this is a really good thing. You do have uh, your Google Maps here. So it'll give you turn by turn directions to wherever you need to go and it's pretty neat. And uh, for those of you wondering, I do have this on a T-Mobile plan with my phone. So I think it's like an extra five or $10 a month. And I have unlimited uh, data uh, with my iPad. Um, for those of you that don't want that, you can always tether it with your iPhone and it'll work the same way just make sure you have always your iphone with you and and you have to connect it to the wi-fi of your of your phone and it'll still work the same way but i like to use this better that way if i ever forget my phone i i can always still use it another cool feature of this is that you can always watch youtube you have youtube here i don't recommend the driver to be watching this but if your passenger wants to watch some youtube they can so pretty much works the same way obviously as if you were if you had your ipad out of the dock Except you do hear, um, you do hear your video coming out of the speakers, which to is pretty video. cool. Uh, today I'm making a video for you guys to go over everything I've done in the truck. I think that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. I think I explained pretty well how to, this is all wired up and how it's all working together and how I made this, everything possible. If you guys want any explanations or any other features that I didn't explain here, just let me know and I will explain it to you guys or I'll make another video for you guys. But in the meantime, I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's a little short vlog, I just wanted to show you guys the finished piece. I think the next one is probably gonna be dropping my truck. I've been getting a lot of um, comments and suggestions. Everybody's telling me to drop the truck. Um, I just don't know yet because I do haul a lot of stuff here and sometimes when I load a bunch of like cement and stuff the truck really goes down really low so um, if anybody has a lower truck please let me know in the comment section below on how if you if you're able to haul anything or if it's still you know drivable like that um, and I'll think about it I don't know if I'm gonna go how low I'm gonna go but leave a comment in the section below on how low you guys think I should go and maybe you'll see this truck lowered pretty soon thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one